Uh, I would probably give myself like an eight. You know, I, I was really happy with a lot of the tournaments and, and you know, to win some of the tournaments that I've been envisioning myself winning for a lot of years was, was very satisfying on like a personal level. Um, you know, in the back of my mind, I always think about Worlds, which I, I, I didn't win, um, but, you know, I, I still feel like I, I have time to make that happen, so, you know, I'm excited for the future and I'm excited for all the, the World Championships that are coming up. Um, and, you know, more than more than any individual performance or, or winning this tournament or, or, you know, getting second or third, you know, I, I'm most happy with, like, how I fought in matches, you know, like, really going for it. You know, I, I think I told myself when I first got my brown belt, um, you know, if you're gonna win, you know, and you're gonna beat these guys that are that are like, really tough, and all they do is train. Like you gotta, you gotta want it. Like you gotta want it so bad, you know. And you gotta really just go for it, you know. So I kind of told myself, like, you know, leave the kind of doubt on the side. Don't try to play it safe, and just go for it, you know. So when I won tournaments, and I just like left it out there, and, and just like fought like, hard, like that, that was more satisfying than any any really title. Um, I did Europeans last year, and uh, thankfully I was I was able to win, and you know it was it was an awesome tournament. It, it's such a such a cool atmosphere there, and and if you haven't done it, I, I definitely recommend it, just because uh, you get like a different energy. You get like that like pumped up crowd that's screaming and, and loving it, and you know it, it's kind of just a surreal feeling to like do something cool in a match, and then you hear like people like freak out a little. I was like, whoa! Like people were actually watching that. You know, sometimes you're competing and you're so focused on what's happening in front of you that you forget that there's like so much around you, you know, so just being in that atmosphere and getting to perform well was like one of the best experiences uh, of my life for sure. Oh man, um, my Pan Am final, you know, because that was like a moment that I had been dreaming about since, since I think I was a white belt, you know, I, I started training and, and there was a guy that I, uh, it really inspired me and uh, named David Bass, who was like the man in like 2008, 2009, and, and he won Pan Ams in Worlds. And, and I remember seeing that as a white belt and being like, wow, like I want to I wanna do that, you know, like I, I, I really think I can do that, you know. And, you know, I, I competed a ton of times in Pan Ams in the key, you know, I got third here and there. Um, and I always came up a little short, you know, so to be in that final and, and to win and to perform the way I did and, you know, do a technique that, you know, drilling with Gianni, you know, like every single day, or, you know, for what felt like, you know, years is like really, really satisfying, you know, so, so that's, that's probably the best match for me. Um, man, I, I really want that, that brown belt world title, you know, that's, that's like all, all, all I can think about, you know, it, it eats me up at night, you know, so. Everybody in that division, like, I want, I want that bad, you know. So, so yeah, that's it, man. Like, I, like I, I want to compete, you know, here and there, you know. But, um, you know, just to stay fresh. But, but really, Worlds 2017. That's, you know, that's my goal. Um, I've been teaching at uh, Evolution Muay Thai, which is, uh, you know, it's, a, it's it's more of an MMA gym. Um, and I've been running the Jiu Jitsu program there for like three and a half years, and. You know, seeing people go from like white belts that don't know how to like do a hip escape or you know, or like out of weight or out of shape, you know, and, and like watching them like evolve into like jujitsu fighters that are like passionate about it and like training hard and like gritty is like really, really satisfying and like a, you know, like just, just so satisfying to see. So I guess my long term goals, um, you know, for myself, it's, it's just to continue to grow and to continue to evolve, you know, and it's really easy to, to get stagnant and just to do the stuff you're good at, you know, like, okay, I have a, I have a good triangle, like, I can train and go with blue belts and then just only work on triangles, but is that, like, really making me better at jiu-jitsu, or am I just getting at a move that I already kind of have in my arsenal? So, my long-term goal is just to keep, like, developing layers of my game so that, you know, when I'm, like, a withered out, like, old man and I can barely move, I'm like, alright, I'm, like, complete grappler like I have good wrestling good passing good judo good guard you know like and not just a good guard like I want to have a good every guard I want to have a good spider guard butterfly guard you know so I just want to be really developed um, and then you know long-term goal is you know like open up my own my own gym after I'm uh, done competing and do, do doing the things I want to accomplish um, and just helping others and then helping people you know reach their goals Man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty boring, you know, I, I, I like to go out and eat, I like to play video games, you know, I don't really go out and party, I just, I'm really more low-key, I just chill out, you know, chill with my girlfriend, chill with my friends, um, you know, growing up in New York, um, there's like a big nightlife scene, there's a big like partying scene, and you know, when I was younger, I, I was like into it, but then I think the first day of jiu-jitsu, like my, 
my interest just kind of shifted the other way and, and I'm so thankful that it did because I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't training, you know, so yeah, I'm pretty low-key, man. On the weekends, I just chill out, play some video games, watch some movies, you know. Yeah, so uh, I want to thank uh, Illith, uh, KP, the Armbar Soap Company, uh, Jiu-Jitsu, One First Need, uh, Choke Lab, you know, for the opportunity to do this interview. Um, just really all the people who have, uh, you know, supported me over the years or, you know, saw something in, in, in my Jiu-Jitsu or, or me that, that made them want to, um, you know, want to support me. It's something that, that, that goes a long way and, uh, and that I don't forget. So, thanks, guys.